Hello guys, welcome to the channel. You normally don't associate cost efficiency with OpenAI. One of the major criticism on OpenAI is that it is not that open when it comes to cost and when you employ their API based models on within your applications, the cost can just go through the roof. That is why there this brand new model which was released hours ago, GPT-4 Omni Mini makes a lot of sense because not only it is quite performant but also it is quite efficient. In this video we are going to see how you can use it in the console plus we will also be using it in text format and image format or vision format in our API calls. Just today OpenAI has released this. It is their new affordable and intelligent small model that's significantly smarter, cheaper and just as fast as GPT 3.5 Turbo and it has also been launched in the API. Here is what you need to know at a very high level. There are four major features of GPT 4 O Mini. First and foremost, as usual, it is quite intelligent. The quality of the model is same as the other ones, which is quite high. GPT 4 O Mini or GPT 4 Omni Mini outperforms GPT 3.5 Turbo in textual intelligence by scoring 82% on MMLU compared to 69.8% and that's a big big difference. Also it has performed really well in multimodal reasoning so it is quite intelligent. Secondly pricing which is the major attraction as far as I am concerned. GPT-40 Mini is more than 60% cheaper than GPT 3.5 Turbo, priced at just 0.15 per 1 million input tokens and 0 0.60 per 1 million output tokens, which is a roughly equivalent of 2500 pages in a standard book. Third feature, which is quite outstanding, is multimodality. GPT-4 O Mini currently supports text and vision capabilities and in the future it is also going to support audio and video inputs and outputs in the future. For now, I believe it only outputs text. GPT-4 Omni Mini has improved multilingual understanding over GPT-3.5 Turbo across a wide range of non-English languages which is also quite a good feature. So all in all, these four features are the one which makes it quite outstanding. With its low cost and latency, GPT-4 O Mini works well for high volume tasks such as passing a full code base or conversation history to the model. It also is quite good when it comes to cost sensitive tasks such as summarizing large documents and tasks that require fast responses, for example, customer support chatbots. Like GPT-4O, GPT-4O Mini has a 128K context window, which is very, very big and quite good. It supports up to 16,000 output tokens per request and has a knowledge cutoff date of October 2023. They also plan to launch fine tuning for GPT-4O Mini in the coming days and that would be really good. So that is the whole overview of GPT-4O Mini. Let's now go and see how it looks like first in console and then we are going to check it out in our API calls. You would need to go to platform.openai.com and then you would have to sign up with your email address and then you can talk with it. So you see and initially you get credit so you can use it if you don't have it already. So you can see that GPT-4 O Mini is already selected. You can go with GPT-4 O and any other model but Let's try it out. Here you can give it images and you can give it text prompt. So let's try out with your text prompt. So for that, I'm asking it to write 10 sentences ending with the word beauty. And then let's click run here. There you go. So you see, looks like most it has <coughs> very, very awesomely performed quite good in all of the answer all 10 of them are ending with word beauty and if you have been following my channel you know that most of the models fail this test also you can set some of the hyperparameters at the right hand side 
but let's keep them at the default for now okay let's try out another question in this one i'm asking you what is the deepest part of the ocean in the world let's see if it is able to tell us that so it is saying it is yeah challenger deep which is located in the mariana trench around 11000 meter it, it has given us almost the exact meter figure which is quite correct so awesome stuff okay let's try to see if it can do some of the reasoning in terms of a thought process so in this question i'm asking it that john is a man with an extensive criminal history that includes theft is walking down a dimly lit alley on his way home and then he finds a wallet and cash so i'm asking the model given his history and all that stuff what model thinks does john pocket some money for himself or john attempts to return the money let's see what model says here so it is saying that it is more probable that john would pocket the money for himself amazing stuff okay so let's try out one of the coding question first i am just going to ask it to write me a complex geometrical problem like show me a python script that draws a mental plot set let me run it wow there you go so you see it has given us what it is going to do in the code then it is also telling me what are the prerequisites and then it has given me the code and then it has also given me that how to run it amazing stuff let's see if it can fix the code so i'm just going to give it a c plus plus code snippet and i'm asking it to fix it let's run it wow that's good so it not only it has given me the correct code but it has also given me what changes has been made amazing stuff now for the image ones what you can do you can simply click on this link image link and then you can upload the image from your local system let me grab an image quickly and then we can ask about it so i have just given this image i'm going to ask it describe the image and also tell me which living things you find in it let's run it you can see there are three kangaroos here there there is a flock of bird on the top there you go so it is saying image depicts a serene sunset scene featuring a large vibrant sun setting a gradient sky of warm orange all that is great and it is saying this is a silhouette of a tree likely an acacia or similar australian tree that is awesome that is acacia love it no model has ever done it before and then above a flock of birds is flying across the sky living things kangaroos birds and tree that is what i was hoping that it would say that tree is also there amazing stuff okay. how many kangaroos are there there are three of them let's see if it can count there it says there are two kangaroos one larger and one smaller so if you go above there are three kangaroos some model has got it wrong so and definitely i don't think so it can count the bird how many birds are there so wow we actually <clears throat> found a limitation of dpt4 or mini okay it says seven birds and there are 13 birds so it can't really go into the granular detail of the images but still good enough okay so now you have seen how this model performs in terms of multimodality in the console let's check it out in our vs code to see how it performs in the code so this is my vs code window here first up let's check out its text so make sure that you have installed openai sdk if you already have it make sure to upgrade it because that will support this new model and then in your environment make sure you set this open api key which you grab from platform.openai.com the console which i just showed you you can go into the settings and grab the key for the project okay and then i'm importing the libraries i'm setting the key here 
and then I am specifying the model GPT-40 mini and then I am just asking it a question that you are a system prompt, you are a helpful assistant and then I have given it a puzzle that a bat and a ball together cost $1.10, the bat cost $1 more than the ball, how much does the ball cost and then I am printing the response. So let me run this. I'm just going to run this uh, Python code in my git bash terminal locally. Let's put, wait for it to come back. And this is an API call. There you go. So if I just make it a bit bigger and show you the response here, look at how logically it has performed. Of course, we can convert it into uh, markdown, but let's go with it. So it is saying that let's denote the cost of the ball as x, and then it is just going through the reasoning. And look at the reasoning it is dividing subtracting and all that stuff and then it has given us a cost as five cents amazing stuff okay so this is how you do the text one and then this is how you do the image one so i'm just grabbing an image from my local system you can even give it a url so i'm importing some of the libraries and then i am just specifying gpt4 o mini should be here let me grab the full model name so that we are sure that we are using the right model okay that is better i have saved it and then i am giving it the key and now we need to give the image in the base 64 encoded once so that model would be able to understand it and this is a local image which i will also show you shortly what this image looks like and then i am asking the image that you are a helpful assistant and describe the image and then i am printing the response of the image here let me quickly show you what this image looks like this image let me go to my browser actually quickly this is the image so this is one of the thumbnail of my youtube video previously so this is what i'm going to ask it maybe i can ask it how many girls are there in the image after describing it maybe ask let me ask that so let me go to my vs code back i will change the prompt describe the image how many girls are there okay so in in the below video let me clear the screen and now let's let me run the script let's run it let's wait for it to come back And there you go so it says the image features a group of girls specifically seven girls depicted in a stylized stylized manner so if you remember let me actually show you too so that we would be analyzing it together so how many girls are there one two three four five six seven eight girls are there so it seems this image got covered or maybe image is taking me as a girl that is not good Okay, maybe we'll just go back and see what it is saying. They are dressed in a similar outfit, likely resembling a theme or character style. To the right, there is a man pointing. So it, it seems it couldn't really count the girls properly. Possibly indicating something related to the text on the left, which discusses a software installation. That is great. The background includes greenery and a building, adding context to the scene. So going to sing text on the scene so maybe it can do a bit of OCR too but anyway this is how you can do the API calls with this really cost-effective model so all in all I think pretty good stuff and very happy to see that you know cost of efficient model is available and now we can stop using GPT 3.5 turbo and move on to this GPT 4 Omni mini that's it guys, I will drop the link to this um, press release in video description you can read through. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.